All right, now let's talk about Yao Ming. Yao Ming is the center from China for the Houston Rockets. Um, at least I think he used to be. I don't know if he still is. So what is his Z-score and explain what this means for him. So let's find out Yao Ming's head, shall we? All right, so let me just kind of insert here. I'm just going to keep this men stuff the same because it is the same, except for the height. Now the height for Yao Ming is he's 7 feet 6 inches tall. So 7 times 12 plus 6 right? So he's 90 inches tall. So yeah, 7 foot 6. So then what's his Z score? So you can just use the standardized right here. Boom. Or you could use the same formula here. Sign. So there's Yao Ming. Right? His Z score is 7.17. Huge, isn't it? Okay. So let me type that up. Hold on one sec. There we go. So you take 90, subtract away 69.2, divide by 2.9. So Yao Ming is extremely tall, right? He is over seven standard deviations above the mean, right? And hence his career in the NBA, right? All right. Now, what about... If you compared Yao Ming, I, I used the average for the U.S. For men in the U.S., it's 69.2 and the standard deviation is 2.9. So what about when you compare him to other people, other men in China? You can't, can't do women in China. That's not fair. you got to compare apples to apples here. So it would probably be even higher. The reason being because China has a slightly lower, and I'll just play with this for a second. Okay, so let me drag Yao Ming over one. Okay, so China has a slightly lower height. So let's pretend if it was like 68, see, that would raise it even higher. And China also has a smaller standard deviation. The reason being because um, they're more ethnically homogeneous. So China has a slightly smaller average height I should say mean height average is a bad word mean height I don't know what it is I just made up the example and a smaller standard deviation right so those two things together cause both of these things to change like for example suppose and this is this is when you compare to China this is when you compare them to the US okay so suppose that the height stayed the same, average height 69.2, but I lowered the standard deviation from 2.9 to 2.7, right? That alone causes it to jump from 7.17 to 7.7. .7. Suppose I left this the same, see they're the same, but I lowered this to like 68. That causes it to jump as well. So the two of them together really cause it to go much higher. Um, I actually don't know what the values are for China, but I can tell you that they're going to be a little bit higher um, for a z-score. Right. So let me just give you an example. Oops, that wasn't Steve, that was Yao Ming. I should change that. All right, I can't put his whole name in there. Okay, so if it was 90 minus 68, just for the sake of it, 68 divided by 2.7, that would be eight point something. Eight point one five one four eight. And we can we can write out that up here. You can say for example, if the mean was sixty eight for men in China, right, which is five foot eight, which is not small, right? And the standard deviation was 2.7 right China should be capitalized there we go hopefully that makes sense all right so we're done with z-scores now let's move into percentiles percentiles you see a lot of um, when you get tests back or when you have kids and they'll say your child's in the 15th percentile for height or whatever what does that mean? It means that there's that percent below you, right? And the opposite above you. All right, we'll meet right back here to talk more about percentiles.